Do you or your fans believe you have what it takes to perform on my level? Or will you slip up? Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the Marinello Motivation Escalation. This is Silent Assassin for all three levels. Mine is Mr. Freeze 2244 but before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. But for this one, we're actually going to start off in the warehouse disguised as the custodian. We're going to bring along any pistol you want to choose from, as long as it's suppressed. Bring along your modern lethal syringe, whether it's Mark II or Mark I, it doesn't matter. And bring along your coin. For level 1, we just got one target for this. And uh, he's relatively simple to get through. Now we're going to get spotted by several cameras here. We're going to get spotted by this one. And we're going to get spotted by a camera upstairs as well. But we're going to take out the evidence anyway. So you don't need to worry about that too much. So what we're actually going to do once we go up top here. There's going to be a one enforcer up here. But so we're going to avoid him completely by diving out of the window. Once we go out the window we're going to edge along this ledge here. And climb through the other window. As soon as we enter the room, we're going to pull out our pistol and shoot out the evidence that's just in the room in the corner. Once we've done that, we're going to turn off the uh, the servers right here. That's going to distract the other custodian that's in the room. Now we're just going to hide behind these boxes right here. And we're going to go ahead and take out the custodian and hide his body in the crate. So you don't need to wait for him to turn it back on, you can just go ahead and subdue him straight away. Nobody will hear you subduing him either. So just go ahead and drag him and just dump him in the crate. Grab this flare that's in the corner. And then pick up the coin that's on the floor and throw it on the floor just in this location. What it's going to do is distract the guard that's in the corner. He is always the one that comes over to investigate. We need to get him out of the way to get this next distraction to work. Now you can either knock him out, or just go ahead and pull out your flare, throw it in the corner there. All the two guards and the target will turn around. And then what you want to do is go ahead and syringe him from behind, and then take him out that way. And then once you've left the room, I'm going to come over to the, to the other side of the room, climb down the pipe, and then exit the mission. Obviously it's skipped, as you can, see, as you can tell, it's becoming more frequently, all this stuff. But... Uh, it's just one of the things that we have to deal with, unfortunately. So we're going to exit the mission there, and that will get you a silent assassin for level 1. We actually recorded these during the live stream, so hopefully uh, it didn't turn out too badly for the next couple of levels. But that's how you get silent assassin for level 1. So the only thing that skipped there was me syringing the target in the back and then leaving the room. But that's how you get silent assassin for level 1. Let's move on to level 2. Now for level 2 we have an additional target which is Billy Taylor, he's another custodian. And we have more guards in the Ark building that has more enforcers for the custodian disguise. So this one, for this one we're going to bring along our model lethal syringe and our emetic syringe. So we're actually going to basically start off the same way we did before in the previous level. And we're going to get spotted by that camera there like, like we did on the previous level. We're going to climb these stairs and at the top there's going to be a crate. On the crate there's going to be a coin. Grab that coin, crouch. And then throw the coin behind these boards right here. What that's going to do is uh, going get, to get everyone to turn around for a distraction. Then we're going to pull out our lethal syringe, stab the target, and then leave as quick as possible. And then climb out the window. So that's one target taken care of. And now we've just got the, uh, the second target we're going to take care of pretty much the same way as we did in the previous level. But as soon as we come through the window, we're not going to shoot the evidence straight away because the guard in the middle, he's going to see you because we had to spend a little bit more time getting the other target. So once he leans down, we're going to actually swap shoulders and shoot the evidence that way. Then we're going to turn off the servers just like we did in the previous level as well. And then we're going to hide. So we're just going to wait for this custodian to come over as well. We're going to take him out again. I'm going to go ahead and subdue him just to get him out of the way. Again, hiding his body in the crate. Just doing this nice and safely. Grab the flare. And we're actually going to throw another coin in this area. Just strap the guard like we did previous, previously. You, go. 
And then we're going to go ahead and take out the guard. Now, we didn't do this on the previous level, but we're going to go and take him out anyway, just, to, just for extra safety. And then once we've done that, we're going to pull out the... Uh, we're going to change the disguises and pull out the flare. And do the same thing we did previously. So throw it in the corner of the room. It's going to distract the, the two guards and the target. We're going to pull out the emetic syringe this time. And stab the target from behind. Now, if you have a second modern lethal syringe, go ahead and use that so you can actually eliminate the target straight away. You won't have to bother with this stuff. Now, what's going to happen is the target is going to go in the corner and he's going to investigate the flare. Now, he won't initiate the uh, the animation for him being sick until after he's investigated. So, that's why we're waiting right now. But if you have a modern lethal syringe, um, a, a second one that is, you can go ahead and take him out right there. But for those of you that you haven't got a second um, lethal syringe and you've only got an emetic, then just wait for him to get sick and then toss him out of the window. <laughs> One thing you need to keep in mind as well, that guard that leans over the table of the, of the security in the security room, just make sure he's not looking at you at the time when you push the target, because he can spot you, just in case, just to put that out there. But once we've uh, exited the room here, we're going to jump out the window, slide down the pipe, and use the helicopter over here as they exit this time, and then we've got the silent assassin for level 2. Now for level 3 they've added another complication which is called Civilizer. It says if any non-target civilian either pacified or eliminated you will fail the mission. So that combined with the other additions as well, that's the that's the difference we've got. And we're actually going to start off with the same loadout and we're going to do the same thing we did at the previous level. Climb the stairs here, throw the coin behind this little, these uh, notice boards and we're going to pull out our modern lethal syringe, stab the target and then enter this, you know, go through the window and then enter the room where the other target is. This time we can't take out anybody, so we're going to need to do a chain of events, which is going to be quite easy to follow. We did this several times in a row during the stream, so it shouldn't be too difficult to follow. So, this guard is in the middle, he's going to be leaning down. Once he does lean down, we're going to swap shoulders and shoot out the evidence. And then we're immediately going to turn off the servers, pick up the flare, now, the guard that's uh, right next to the evidence, he's going to move. See the question mark above his head? He moves there, just to his right. That's important. Now, we're going to wait for the custodian to move to our left. And watch the, watch the mini-map. See, he's moving now. That's when you want to throw the flare. And then you can stab the uh, emetic syringe with... Uh, stab the target with the emetic syringe. And the guard that basically was investigating the noise from the evidence himself, he won't get distracted by the flare, but purely because he was already distracted by the shooting out the evidence. Now, all we had to do at that point was just wait for the custodian to move, and then we can go ahead and uh, throw the flare, and then stab the target with the syringe. If that was all at all confusing, then just wind back and then see exactly what I did. And if you're still, if you're still struggling with that, let me know in the comments and I'll try and explain a little bit more in detail. But once he comes over to the window, obviously we're just going to push him out there, and then we're going to exit the mission now. So obviously not get spotted by that guard. <laughs> Because that was very, very close. So we're going to jump out the window here, slide down the pipe just like we did previous level. And then we're going to head to the helicopter and then we'll escape the mission. We actually did it a lot faster than we did in the previous level actually. So if you did the same strategy in all three levels using this strategy, you can actually do them a lot faster than uh, that I showed you previously. But that's entirely up to you how you do it. So hopefully this has helped you out for this escalation. This will be Son Assassin rating for level 3. And that will complete the... The Marinello motivation escalation, that's what it is in the Isle of Scale. So, uh, yeah, just a confirmation of the silent assassin I got at the end. So, again, if you're confused by any of this stuff that I've done, let me know in the comments or uh, let me know if you can't replicate it, let me know. But it is really, really simple as long as you understand what I was trying to do. So, that's going to do it for this video. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, feel free to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. Uh, consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and cheers.